Hi, welcome to Nightbird Tarot. My name is Brooke, and welcome to your weekly general tarot reading for the week of June 22nd to June 29th. This is the first day of summer, so happy summer solstice to those that are watching. Also, it's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to the fathers out there as well. Plus, the sun has moved into the sign of Cancer, so happy birthday to any Cancerians that may be watching as well. And Cancer is my rising sign, and I oftentimes, when I read my horoscope or anything to do with astrology, even tarot readings for the sign of Cancer, I often read or watch them as well, because Cancer rising for me often seems to trump my sun sign, which is Pisces. Also a reminder uh, to watch your June monthly tarot forecast because the July tarot forecast for all 12 astrological signs will be coming out in the next week or so. Also, if you'd like a more in-depth private reading with me, all readings on my Etsy shop are 25% off. They are manuscript and audio readings. Please check out my website, nightbirdtarot.com, for the live readings that I do offer. They are 10% off the live telephone and live Skype readings. So let's begin. I pre-shuffled the cards right before the video. I haven't laid them out yet, so we're going to do that together and see what's in store for the week of June 22nd to June 29th. There may be, for many of those that are watching this week, of feelings of disappointment or feelings of regret. This could also be a feeling of enough is enough. So going into the first part of the week, there may be feelings of regret. There may also be feelings of disappointment because the Five of Cups has shown up. And this is a card ultimately of something is not working right something that perhaps you've put a lot of emotion towards is not bringing you fulfillment there may be a walking away from something and there may also be disappointment in a situation there may also be regrets when it comes to a situation or even possibly a relationship this could also be a professional relationship as well feelings of regret for the week so that's very interesting feelings of regret and while I was meditating before the reading like I do with all tarot readings whether it's on YouTube or whether it's in my private readings I always ground and center and send up a prayer and meditate and I got the messages of I forgive you a message of forgiveness and I think that's very relevant for this week you know, last week, for many of those in the United States, we were captured by the news and the media in terms of the terrible tragedy that happened in South Carolina. I don't normally talk about news events on my YouTube channel, but it was such a strong reaction to what happened, and it hit me very emotionally, and I can't even speak about it without getting angry, but the message was from the families of those victims, they forgave the perpetrator, and I was amazed by their resilience because of their faith and their belief in order to forgive him. And I think that's a strong message going into this week as well, not to have regrets or disappointment or to carry the burden of regret any longer, to, forget, to forgive ultimately yourselves. Whatever you may feel that you have disappointments about, this may be the week where you shed those and forgive yourself, also forgive other people. It's very easy to hold on to grudges or to hold on to resentments or to carry the weight of disappointment in our lives. And it's much harder to forgive yourself or to forgive other people. And the message was, I forgive you. I forgive you. I'm releasing it. I forgive you so I can release it from within myself. So that's the message for this week. Whatever may be causing you disappointment or guilt or regret, 
or whatever it is that is causing dissatisfaction, try to find within yourselves this week the ability to practice forgiveness. I forgive you and to release it for the week. Now what's interesting is there's a court card in the reading that has followed this, and this is the King of Wands. The King of Wands is a leader. It's a very practical kind of king. He's also very passionate. He's very creative. He's dynamic. He has the capabilities of being very passionate and strong in his position. This could be a father figure, this could be a husband, this could even be a brother, boyfriend, this could be a close friend, this could be an actual person, or these may be attributes or personalities for those that are watching. The King of Wands is very dynamic, he's very passionate, so on a level of making decisions or a level of being practical, he is very driven with energy and passion in terms of taking hold of a situation and making the best of it. So being able to delegate your way through this week from whatever may be causing you disappointment or whatever may be causing you even shame that's coming up for me, whatever is whatever you're holding on to the release of letting it go it's very significant and this can be coming from this card as well of the finding within ourselves the creative passionate characteristics of shedding things and letting things go of shedding the old ways and letting things go so we can purposely go into the next phase of our lives, no matter how small those steps are, okay? Whatever events have led up to, uh, up till now, now is the beginning, especially with summer solstice and especially with the new season coming in and the new sign of cancer coming in as well. We're on another path generated this week. Now is the time to find that passionate side within you and to let it go. Just let it go. Forgive yourselves even if you feel that you it's hard for you to let go of search certain situations. Try to find forgiveness within yourself. Everybody makes mistakes. We're all human. You know, they say we're spiritual beings here having a human experience. Everyone makes mistakes. Nobody is perfect. Learn from those mistakes. Find forgiveness within yourself to forgive yourself or other people, and let's move on. Now, following this card is traditionally a card of, once again, discontentment, and also a card of boredom, and this is the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is a card of whatever's being offered to you, you're not too satisfied with. There's a lot of dissatisfaction. This could even be any opportunities this could be even relationships. This is something, it's like, I liken it to kids at Christmas time. You know, you can get them 50 gifts, but if they don't see that gift that they wrote to Santa about, they're disappointed. They're searching. They're looking for what makes them happy. So whatever you're searching for, whatever you're looking for this week, to make you happy, or if you're wanting other people to fill that void for you, you may have a difficult time in doing so. Try not to look for external external forces to fill you up, okay, so to speak, to fill your cup up. You need to find it within yourself. The self-practice of self-love, loving yourself, forgiving yourself. That's the message that I'm getting for this week. Now, following this, the reading, of course, change. It changes. It's changing. And we're going into a period of waiting. There's a waiting period that's possibly going to be turned 
the corner will be turned towards this, towards the latter part of the week, and we have the Two of Wands. This can also be significant in business partnerships, but this is a period of waiting. This is a period of whatever you are wanting to seek out, whatever you're wanting to get answers to, whatever you're waiting on, there is a general waiting period, you know, good things come to those who wait. That used to drive me crazy when I used to hear that, but it's true. You, There is a natural waiting period that is generated, that may be generated towards the end of the week. Have patience, okay? Everything, I believe, comes on a course of divine timing. Certain circumstances, certain events, you know, a lot of people don't believe in predestined events. I kind of do because of my circumstances in my life. I've seen it. So there is a waiting period for whatever shift that is possible that you're waiting for, wanting to have happen. There is a waiting period, and sometimes it's good practice to do a cleansing or a spiritual cleaning. You know, when you clean your house, and you feel better, you get rid of the clutter, and you feel better, you're opening up those energy channels to allow things to come into your life. So that's going back to the forgiveness card and finding that creative, passionate energy within yourselves to release it in order for events to come in. And once again, that's where the waiting period happens. So for those that are waiting for something significant, whether it's the right relationship to come into your life, or whether it's the right career to come into your life, or whether you're waiting for the right special circumstance to change your life magically, that's not how life happens. You know, there's not a magic potion that we can all drink and poof, there's the man of our dreams or the woman of our dreams or there's the career that I've always wanted. You know, I wish that there was or I wouldn't be sitting here on the floor in my daughter's bedroom, but that's where the beginning steps happen to make your dreams come true and that's where the challenge is is the waiting period that's the challenge and following this towards the end of the week going into the weekend there may be feelings generated for those that are watching <clears throat> excuse me for those that are watching that are coming to terms with the solidifying of emotions of it's okay I'm doing okay everything's fine I may be single right now but everything's fine. I may be doing things on my own more than I'd like to, but everything's fine because you're in a very strong position in terms of taking care of yourselves because the Nine of Pentacles has appeared and the Nine of Pentacles is all about taking care of yourselves. Self-love. That may sound cheesy, but self-love, self-love is something that we're not taught when we're children, and it's very important. In order for you to have respect in relationships, whether it's romantic, whether it's professional, you have to have respect and love for yourself first. That is so important, or you will be taken advantage of, you will be bulldozed, you will be used, you will... People will use that to their advantage. Not everyone, but people do. This card is a great reminder of not only feeling confident in doing things on your own, if you are single, whether it's by choice, whether it's by, you know, circumstances, divorce, your partner passing away, whatever the circumstances have led up until now, the feeling of feeling confident, especially going towards the latter part of the week into next weekend, is a feeling of solitary enjoyment. Knowing that you are capable of being self-reliant. It's a real card of self-reliance and self-identity. Who am I? What do I want in my life? 
if I'm not happy, if I'm discontented or bored with my life, what can I do to change that? You know, as a tarot reader, I often get many questions about when will this happen for me? When will I find this for me? Okay, I can possibly, through the use of the divination tools that I use, can most likely possibly give you possibilities of that. The choice is up to you. The decision making is up to you. The free will is up to you. The power lies within you, Dorothy. You had it all along, right, from the Wizard of Oz. And that's a hard pill to swallow because it's we want it to be easy, and it's not so easy sometimes. So if you're coming in to this week possibly feeling disappointed or having regrets or even feeling disillusioned about a situation, it's time now to let it go, to forgive yourselves, and to move on, to move forward in your life. What is keeping you stuck if you feel stuck? What is making you unhappy if you are unhappy? What is making you dissatisfied in your life? Write it down. What can you do to change it? Make a plan. Make a long-term goal. Whether it's financially, whether it's personally, whether it's for your family or just for your, within yourself because it really lies in your hands and that's where the confidence card and the self-identity and the self-reliance of knowing that you have the abilities to change your life. You really do. You have the abilities to change your life. and. I liken it to whether it's taking off the mask of your daily lives and stop pretending about who you are or what you are or who you should be or how you should act or whatever it is. So it's scary. It takes a lot of courage. and. It's time to take the leap into the unknown and to really go for what makes you happy, you know, and it's scary, but go for what makes you happy and not hold on to grudges and disappointments and the feeling of carrying regrets for the rest of your life because life is too short, you know, absolutely. And people are going to talk about you whether you do good or whether you don't do good. So it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. So go forth into this week with confidence and to remember that you do have what it takes to change your lives if something is making you unhappy. That's the message for this week, okay? That's the message of forgiveness, of letting go, and moving on. So I hope you all have a great week this week. I'll be back next Sunday for your next weekly tarot reading. Don't forget to check out my website, nightbirdtarot.com. Have a fabulous week. I'll see you next week. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.